top names in the real estate game are trying to raise money for what they call blind pools. But investors are wary about bankrolling their return. Monica Bertrand has more. And John, uh, blind pools, exactly how it sounds. Investors taking a chance on investments without knowing what they own. Well-known real estate investors Richard Zimmerman, former head of Arden Realty, and also Timothy Callen, who ran at Trizec Properties, are each trying to raise between 400 and 500 million dollars to offer shares in so-called blind pool real estate companies that don't actually own any assets yet. They're not alone. Plenty of blind pools are cropping up as investors try to take advantage of distressed properties in the real estate market, but the timing may be all wrong. According to Bloomberg data, more than one billion of commercial real estate related IPOs registered to blind pools have been withdrawn or postponed in the past year, a sign investors are cautious of backing companies with no assets. Now, Craig Guttenplan says that investors are more willing to invest in existing REITs that have the potential to acquire commercial real estate at attractive prices than blind pools where you don't know what you're getting other than a management team and a mandate. Add to that, blind, blind pools are facing increased competition. You have private equity managers are raising $21.4 billion for 50 North American REIT funds last year and almost 90 existing real estate investment trusts raising more than $21 billion in secondary offerings last year, the most since uh, 1997. Now, as for Zimmon and Callahan, well, they both have great track records, though. Zimmon sold Arden Realty to GE for $3.2 billion in 2005 after returning 326% to shareholders. And Trizec Partners under Callahan returned 198% over five years. So we'll see how they make out. Deirdre? Monica, thank you very much.